During the 70s and 80s, there was considerable mine laying going on by various different factions. The Khmer Rouge, Vietnamese forces in support of the state of Cambodia also laid a lot of mines, which has resulted in Cambodia being one of the most mine contaminated as well as UXO contaminated countries in the world. Over 65,000 people have been killed or injured by landmines and unexploded ordnance. The mines affect the poorest people who are scrabbling around for the last remaining land for subsistence farming. Halo started operations here in 1991. That was predominantly in support of the return of refugees from refugee camps on the Thai border minefield. Hundreds of thousands of refugees were safely repatriated into collection areas, first of all, and then returned to their homesteads. Cambodia is unique in that it has fully recognized its mine problem and come up with a dynamic plan to address it. A large-scale baseline survey has been done. We know the extent of the problem. Prime Minister Hun Sen has formally declared mine clearance to be a millennium development goal. We're very fortunate to have over a thousand D-miners funded by very generous support from governments around the world. A third of our thousand staff are women. Approximately 800 are D-miners. Further 100 are working with explosive ordnance disposal call-out. It's very important that we don't just focus on the mines. And the remaining 100 are the management and support staff. He will clear the road access into this village, and then we clear this village for housing and school, ponds, then we expand clearance for agriculture land. Previously, they had 16 families. The people increased up to 183 families and 721 people. We are one of the two largest operators here. The other operator is CMAC, the National Capacity. We've cleared over half the minefields now, which is a significant achievement considering the density of mine laying in Cambodia. As people settle along the new border road, there's a spike in anti-personnel mine casualties as people try and occupy the last remaining areas of land in Cambodia. The <laughs> Halo and the sector needs to operate at great scale. In the 2000s, the mine action sector had about 4,500 D-miners up. Halo, 1,500 to almost 2,000 D-miners. We need to capture that scale again. We need to be resourced. And with a combination of an extra 2,000 D-miners across the sector, a combination of reprioritization of how the sector conducts its clearance, it's very much light at the end of the tunnel, and we can clear the remaining half if properly resolved.